Good afternoon, my fellow sheepchards, critics, and those who have a justifiable proclivity to be cynical. I want to address some concerns that have been echoed by frightened chimps who have been misled by anti-Shiva operatives combined with the countless hacks who work for a number of failing news outlets over the past couple of weeks. Fuck yourself and fuck it. She is in its infancy. And as we've already seen a precipitous gain, know that there's a lot of gas left in this can. A week from now, it's very possible that you and I will be sitting at our kitchen tables, verbally and emotionally abusing our loved ones. It's fucked up. While we think about how we reluctantly passed up the opportunity to buy more before it moved into the thousandth decimal. Cryptocurrency faces a lot of hurdles ahead. Regulatory bodies, transaction flow, supply, the list goes on and on. And while that is a reality that we will face together, I think of the near future. I'm anticipating both Sheeb and Doge breaking out in Q4, then correcting for a very small period of time. A modest correction and a sustained period of stabilization are healthy and will help lead to increased confidence in both investors as well as financial institutions and other commercial entities. But we are not even close to this phase. We have a wild ride ahead of us before these even begin to settle and digest sideways. The crypto that has the most potential to increase in value in the near future is the instrument that is most attractive to, and available to casual retail investors. SHIB provides an opportunity to scores of new investors who enter our markets every day. And as time progresses, more and more people like you and me will enter the world of cryptocurrency. And I do believe that Robinhood will carry SHIB before the first quarter of 2022. And if SHIB is not available on the platform by then, no that I am confident that the official announcement regarding a specific date of its implementation will be. You see, SHIB is an emerging crypto that Robinhood's target demographic has enthusiastically embraced, and they've shown it. The cost of not having SHIB on their platform is being felt already, as their active user base has diminished proportionately to the increase the Coinbase has experienced in the very same recent period of time. And time is money. And it simply makes business sense for Robinhood to expand into areas of other cryptos, specifically SHIB. If they don't, other exchanges and platforms who do will be chipping away at their market share as they become less and less relevant. Regardless of the potential short-term volatility and periods of sharp liquidation, hold. Know that we've seen our fair share of drops followed by extreme retracement due to selling resistance and the smart money making their play, moving us around like so many puppets on a string. But also be mindful be mindful of a human tendency to panic and make reactionary decisions in moments of perceived desperation. There is nothing more painful than making a decision like this, only to witness a sharp rise before you can execute a buy. I've experienced this tremendous loss, and there are quite simply no words to describe the black hole in the middle of your tummy, Get the, the feeling of a crushing guilt and remorse. It can seem like an eternity when you're outside, looking in, waiting for that dip, knowing that it may never come. In the high volumes, this is especially tragic. And as a person who's experienced this indescribable loss of opportunity and capital, my heart goes out to others 
those who have shared in my pain and have also stared up from the same gloomy abyss. It's important to learn these lessons. And for many, including myself, the only way to learn them is to learn them the hard way. But remember, transaction fees, even on a platform like Coinbase Pro, can multiply the cost of these mistakes, for some exponentially. It's often better to just buy the dip and create a paper account and put your strategies to practice rather than to, than to have everything disintegrate into dust and blow away into the ether. And please be mindful, a minor loss today could translate into an immense loss in the future. That small loss could have been a child's tuition to Harvard or a 79-foot yacht stocked with alcohol, hookers, and cocaine. As a child, I remember my grandfather being on his fishing boat in the late 80s, shortly before he was remanded into federal custody for securities fraud and racketeering charges. But what I remember the best are, is his wisdom, infinite wisdom. But also, what struck me the most was some of his sayings. One of them I repeat to myself every day in the morning. And I'm grateful I have the chance to share it with you. Get the fuck off the stage, you idiot. As the decimals shift and the gains are made, you'll be damn glad that you held and stayed. For nothing's worse than feeling like shit after bailing out when you take a hit. So be the wise chimp and patiently sit. And when the dust settles, go by the dip. Now these are words that have touched my soul and my knock, knock. been with me my whole Get the life. Fuck off the stage, you idiot. And they're words to live by. And as we march on and on into an uncertain but optimistic future, Know this, know that I believe SHIB will continue to outperform the field in terms of relative price expansion. And also know that I firmly believe that it'll break its chains as it soars past the 80s, then the 90s, into uncharted territory, looking for its home, somewhere in the thousandth decimal. And there, it'll eventually settle for a time, nestling into its cozy home before making that journey up the next endless one-sided mountain where the air is thin, but the view is quite beautiful. And for those of you who make this journey, know your perseverance and dedication will have paid off. As you examine your gains and you sit on your balcony and enjoy your champagne cocktails, you'll stare into your decadent backyard bungalow for its paper hands who will be cleaning your pool as you think to yourself, what a poor, sad fool. What you fuck yourself, In closing, fuck I'd like to take a brief moment to emphasize that I am not a financial advisor, but if I were a financial advisor, I might strongly recommend that you YOLO what you can on this and that you do the same with what you can. And that you double down on dips. And most importantly, that you hold as you continue to stay the course. And may the gods of wealth bless each and every one of us. And may fortune continue to shine a light and reveal the path to the beautiful future that awaits us ahead. Many of us, like myself, may be smooth-brained, but there are a hell of a lot of us. We're the Sheeb Army, and we don't fuck around. <laughs> Thank you.